and we're back with Cafe Tristy. Yeah, Harvey, what's up with this? A warrant? What the hell's going on? Wait, does this have to do with what the reporters were talking about this morning? Uh. The press conference turned into a bloodbath. You don't know? Don't tell me. Shh, come on, keep it down. Let's avoid making another scene, shall we? The press is already up my ass as it is. Mayor Hill authorized this? Yeah. Then the cops raid my house, taking everything related to Wayne Enterprise. Yeah. Computers, hard drives, files. Oh, son of a bitch. I Hill's can't make money. DA, Harvey. I didn't know about this. I swear. Hill totally blindsided me on this one. God damn it. He blindsided both of us. Okay, I, I believe you, Harvey. Mayor Hill's trying to screw us both over with this move. And then he's made two enemies. I just uh. don't get it. Why would Hill stick his neck out over this? Just to tangle you up in some frivolous investigation? That just doesn't make sense. I mean, what could he possibly hope to accomplish other than a few cheap headlines? It's politics. It's gotta be politically motivated. Maybe Hill can't match your fundraising, so he's trying to take out your biggest donor. I don't know. This is a new low. Even for Hill. Oh, God, what a mess. All right. Bruce, I wish I could just make this go away, but I'm not sure if I can. If I get in the way of this investigation, Hill would be able to spin it as a conflict of interest. He's that a conflict of instance. <laughs> jeopardize the entire campaign. We need to fight back. Hill cannot get away with this. It may not be a war we can win. He's honored by family. Behind you, Harvey, just like I am. There you are. Hey, you. Sorry. I got a habit of being late. No, no, just glad you made it. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's a fine black guy you got there. You didn't tell me you were bringing a friend to dinner. This is Selena. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Just election nonsense. Oh, I'm Bruce Wayne. I'm Bruce Wayne. So you are. Pleasure to meet you, Miss... Miss Selena Kyle. It's a strong grip you've got there. I think he knows. I'm not gonna fall. Oh! <laughs> Sorry. Selena's new to town. I've been showing her around. They both know. Introducing her to people. You're an excellent tour guide, Harv. Well, if I lose the election, I guess I can drive one of those double-decker tour buses. What happened to your eye? Town. How'd you get that shiner? Bruce? That's okay. Money doesn't buy manners, right? No, it doesn't. I was mugged. Oh? I'm just angry I let that masked freak get away with all my stuff. Right. I can't believe I let you walk home alone. I should have called you a car. It's not your fault. Then the police help? Well, that's terrible. Did they catch the guy? Not yet. <laughs> if they don't, I will. Oh my it's god. long gone by now. Whatever that idiot took. I hope not. These were important materials. Ooh. Ooh. Sensitive. Sensitive. Yeah. I don't know how I'm going to explain this to my client. When things like this happen in my line of work, people tend to overreact. We should just be thankful you got away with a black eye. What is it so you do? So what do you do for a living? It's complicated. High risk, high reward. Right. Stock market, huh? <laughs> Something like that. At least I'm not the only one who's taken a beating. That press conference? Oof. Oof. We've got it under control. Do you? I'll handle it. Someone at my office has to know what's going on. Uh, excuse me a moment. Hey, it's Harvey. Oh dear. Not that he's gone. Out of the water. Oh my. Nice to meet the real you. Likewise. Likewise. This explains a lot, actually. How you can afford the fancy armor. The toys. 
Wouldn't Harvey be surprised? <laughs> Not to mention everyone in this cafe. You with Harvey? With Harvey. Don't worry about your friend. My interest in him is personal. That's Don't a worry. conflict to me. I'm not gonna expose you yet. I'm curious about something now. I do what I do for money, but you're Bruce Wayne. <laughs> I already have the money. <laughs> What's your excuse? I have to. But you. Why take the risk? I have my reason. I think you know enough already. The rest is my secret. And here I was thinking we were starting to get somewhere. How disappointing. You have something that belongs to me. It doesn't belong to I you. Want it back. This is awkward for me. I'm used to robbing people, not the one being robbed. It was like a mine. I recall you took something from me too. So we're Those even, Steven. You said that grappling gun. I'm more interested in how I can use you. These people I'm working for, they don't screw around. All if right. I fail to deliver that drive, it's going to cost a lot more than money. Well, it looks like you've made your bed. No, we've made this bed, and I'm not going to lie in it alone. You owe me. If they don't get what they want, there will be consequences. I don't like consequences. In fact, I spend most of my time avoiding them. I can help I you. Can my help. You got it. What can I do? You can give me back the drive. <laughs> Not possible. What can I do? I don't have a lot of time. My employer is expecting me to drop it off. Where? Just give it back. The address now. No. Give me the drive. Ah! Stubborn. Selena, please give me the address. Playing nice oh, now. He says please when he wants to. Okay, Bruce. Seeing as I'm screwed either way. My contact. He'll be expecting a cat, not a bat. Oh. When are you supposed to meet him? Fifteen minutes ago. What? Excuse me. Better hurry. Everything okay here? You tell me. I have my people working on it. We're gonna straighten everything out. Hey, you better, Harvey. Better already. <sighs> Sorry, but I've gotta run. Yeah, Alfred's okay. calling. Aren't you gonna stay for a drink? Yeah, Bruce. Stay for a drink? <laughs> I'd love to, but I've got another appointment and I really don't want to be late for it. Oh, all right then. Don't forget to change into your suit. <laughs> But it's, it's the day though. Do Batman even go outside during the day? Warehouse 133. That is not. Alfred, I'm at the warehouse. No sign of Catwoman. 15 minutes, contact. I guess. Whatever. It's quiet. The sound of an ambush. Stay on guard. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. There's a lot of cops here. This wasn't a handoff. It was a massacre. How many? I'd have to count the pieces. Oh, good Lord. Who could have done such a thing? That's what I'm gonna find out. Gordon, East Side Docks, Warehouse 133. Oh, there's some soldiers here. Analyzing. It's a volatile chemical, potential psychoactive nerve agent. Vile stuff. Psychoactive very, very nerve no agent. Have. have the computer catalog the compound for further analysis. As you wish. Nothing less. Exploded human remains. Oh, 
I'll go ahead and link it. Whatever exploded did so with enough force to obliterate the person standing next to it. But the chemicals themselves were inert. Not explosive. Bio? Well, it to have made a pretty big boom. I'll see what I can piece back together. Dead mercenary. I've seen these outfits before. Same mercs that broke into City Hall. Reconstruct what happened. Shipping container. The canister exploded, sending shrapnel right through the container door. For once, I'm glad you arrived after the heist. Right. Your armor wouldn't have protected you against that. Can I open it? Ah, there's the piece. Looks like a bullet started this. A normal bullet couldn't have caused that explosion. Doesn't appear normal. The point of entry's melted. It's like a ricochet or some sort. The scrap of metal is from the exploding canister. But I need to know what caused the explosion. Hmm. Canisters were stored here. Canisters of what? Looks like a bus went wrong. It's a cop. The force grows thinner every day. White Rose. White Rose. Falcone's calling card. He's been busy as of late. Send the drones hunting. I want to know his every move. Good thinking, sir. Maybe people are trying to make it look like the Falcone did it? No. That bad? Face slashed. Throat torn open. So, not natural causes then. Oh. Fuck it. Skyline Club. Skyline? That's where the Falcone is. He owns that club. This man's been badly burned. But the damage seems to originate from inside his skull. Huh. What did this? Sensors say it's an incendiary round. Oh, Source okay. Residue. This could have superheated the contents of the canister. Causing the aforementioned boom. Blood. Broken nails. Bits of human flesh. <gasps> Did he... Shredded this murk to pieces, barehanded. And he got shot. God. What would it is like a biochemical that makes them go crazy. The nerve agent could make them psychotic. Oh, what did I do?
Look at that. It's like the same bullet. Or like same type of bullet. I don't think so. No proof. The scrap of metal is from the exploding canister. But I need to know what caused the explosion. Alrighty. 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 On the scorch area. Something was here when the explosion occurred. How's that? Someone drove off after the explosion. So that one must be the gas canister. Fit just right through. The bullet that killed the cop is the same type that blew up the canister. Well, I'm sure they didn't find that at a local gun store. It appears military. Have you put it together? Yes. I see it. Falcone leaving his rose here. This is a message. Dead cops, stolen chemicals. He's making a big move. Pew, 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 pew. One of his snipers hit a canister with an incendiary bullet, causing it to superheat and explode. This may have been a distraction or a way of destroying evidence. Cops moved in to stop the theft. Falcone's men gunned him down. Then things turned grim. Possibly due to the psychoactive nerve agent. A cop ripped up a merc's face with his bare hands. Oh, damn. And was put down. Same sniper, same type of bullet. Looks like Falcone's men got what they wanted and escaped. Have you located the shooter? No, but based on two impact trajectories, the canister and the dead cop, the shooter could only have a clear shot from there, there, or there. And would have contaminated himself with the phosphorus residue. Right. the skimmers to pick up that signature. Right away, sir. Ooh. Did you just pull that from his Both belt? Targets could have been shot from here. But no phosphorus trace. That one's the catwalk. Oh, there a uh, cigarette behind you. Behind them. Behind me. Phosphorus spike. Hmm. Weird vantage point. We have a winner. DNA right there. Hmm. Killing time. This is the right spot. So where did he go? How did he escape? That is the question. Trace stops here. Found him. Oh damn. Time to go to work. 
Alright, it's probably dead. Okay! Don't make me add your corpse. Why is he still sleeping there? Balcone, why did he do this? I, I ain't telling you nothing! You, you can't make me talk! Where is it? I ain't telling you, Jack. You trying to scare a confession out of me? I won't break. Your bones will. Ooh, Batman! Come on now. All right. I what they said about you. You're a freaking animal. Give me a reason to stop. <laughs> oh, Jesus you Christ. You can to death without ever spilling a drop. <laughs> All on the inside. Really? Tell me the plan. Interesting. Before I start swinging. <laughs> Come on. Tell me. The cab woman was supposed to hand over a drive had the container number we needed, but she flaked. So we had to find it ourselves. Oh, Jesus Christ. Container by container. Someone must have heard us. Called the cops. It we gone wrong. No Why risk open war with the GCPD? Some kind of chemicals. <laughs> Falcone wanted them. What are the chemicals for? We were paid to steal them, not ask questions. Oh my god! Oh my god! Uh. Start here and keep breaking until you answer. The chemicals! There's some kind of explosive! A weapon! I don't know! Balcone said he This man has a child. Or like a family. I swear, I swear. Can I break it? You'll never hold a gun steady again. Jesus this is a warning. These are cops. Get an ambulance in here. Think I need to Disappear. I was wrong. I'm gonna need that ambulance too. What the hell's going on tonight, Lieutenant? Batman. I know it's a risk conflict. You're taking this too far, Bruce. What? He's a criminal. Damn. 